I'm John DeSando. And I'm John Doherty. And John Doherty, thank you so much for sitting in for Johnny D. Loretta. You'd think he'd show up um, for the 700th show of Cinema well, Classics, but... Not surprised on my <laughs> end. I've shown up at many places and he hasn't. So hey. I always like to be second. Second in line behind uh, Johnny. Well, he's, he's completely behind my decision to have you as a guest <laughs> because not only are you the film commissioner for Columbus, you also direct film Columbus. So, yes. and you've been with us a while, John. Yeah, yeah. Um, I started in 2015, I think, 16, something like that. Yeah, and Cinema Classics has been on for 13 years. Wow, really? Yeah, and you, you, you've been a guest. You were a guest four years ago. Yeah, I've been a guest a couple times. Yeah, a couple times. Thanks so, for having me back. Yeah, right. so we have today our 700th episode. I That's... know there are some people in shock at this moment. They cannot believe that anybody could do 700. Well, first of all, it's only a five-minute show, but then you and I know how much it takes to just get down to that five. And now we've added a podcast to a double take. Uh, so it's nothing but getting better. Fortunately, we don't have ratings. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> no, 700 is very impressive. Congrats on that. I don't think I've ever done anything 700 I know, times. I know. And then our, our sister show is Movie Time is 1100. Wow. I can imagine that, I John. definitely haven't done anything 1,100 times. <laughs> so, I have a feeling that management's not listening. <laughs> I hope not. I know. They keep they're listening. Uh, they're over it at this point. <laughs> well, Cinema Classics. John, uh, Claylo and I began its movie time back about 20, 22 years ago. Wow. And uh, after a year or two, we realized it wasn't enough for yeah. us. Oh, right. And for, <laughs> fortunately, the, the, What did you sign up for? <laughs> the, the general manager. Michael A.J. Randolph indulged us to do cinema classics. So we scooped up oh. two primetime news minutes, uh, Thursday and Friday, much, must be much to the chagrin of, of current uh, workers in the field. On Thursday, it wasn't Friends on back then? <laughs> Is that <laughs> been on that long? It's so long ago. <laughs> so anyway, Michael A.J. allowed us to have cinema classics. And what we thought about was, because this movie time is... is dedicated to what's happening now. Yeah. Uh, we thought we should really look to the past, which obviously Cinema Classics it does, but its hook, I think, is that it connects with the present. Okay, Makes sense. So, yeah, so uh, you all, while we're doing obviously doing that with this show, at our 700th show, but uh, we, have, we have done, oh my God, John, I began looking at some of the things that we, we we've done just about everything. Uh, um, for instance, we just recently did a, a show on Jordan Peele. Wow. Now, obviously, we did in this movie time on Nope. Yeah, yeah. So then we just moved cinema classics into uh, talking about Jordan Peele. Yeah, that, that's impressive. And, uh, I, you know, Steven Spielberg, uh, Nicolas Cage, uh, Oscars as they related to what has happened in the past. We've even done esoteric subjects like Gothic, John. Ooh. Yeah, I know. How about that? Just trying to trying to define yeah. God, that. Uh, anyway, so and we've even had you as a guest in, yes. in film Columbus, yes. Johnny. So let's let's set the scene okay. for our listeners who who are are, are 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 actually raising their eyebrows to think that we're going to talk <laughs> about film Columbus, <laughs> but they're going to get it whether they like it or not. Yes. <laughs> uh, John, a favorite classic. Well, what? How far back do you have to go for a classic? Well, I would go back to Metropolis. Oh, wow. You know, okay, I would. However, we always lean toward the last 20, 30 years. Probably. You know, um, I always talk about Jaws. All right, tell me why. So, the reason why is I was living in New Jersey at the time. I was, what, six years old, probably? was Because that was 76, wasn't it? Okay. So, I would have been maybe eight years old, seven, okay. eight years old. And my parents took us to see me and my brother. I have an older brother took us to see Jaws at the theater, and I remember standing in line, and that, and I tell this story all the time, I will not go in the ocean at night because of that movie. Yeah. And I still watch, it's giving me goosebumps right now thinking about it. Sure. It, um, it had, you know, as an eight-year-old, it had a pretty profound effect uh, on the way you look at the ocean. Yeah. And, um, but I still, I'll watch that movie if I'm flipping through the channels or something yeah. and it's on, I'll stay on. It's like that and Goodfellas, you know, I'll, I'll stay on that or something. But, but Jaws always comes to the forefront of my mind when we, when we talk well, about Well, you know, and I, I think it's such a great choice because it's so counter 
to the current CGI. Oh yeah, uh, it is so <laughs> rudimentary. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, you know, let's just say the, the special effects are just bad. <laughs> I mean, but um, you think that's what makes it yeah, kind of good? I mean, well, you know, what Spielberg said. He said that uh, something along the lines of, you know, it's it's scary, scarier when you can't see it. Was that him who originally said that? And so, <laughs> yeah. you know, well, yeah. When, yeah. When you when you when you watch making of Jaws, you know, and he talks about how the reason you couldn't see it is because it never worked. So, <laughs> you know, so they try, they just couldn't show it because it never worked. But well, well, mine. I'll go back a little farther. Yeah. All right. And. Although I, I, I cringe at anybody asking me my favorite film. Yes, right? oh, you I, know, can't, I, just, I can't do it. And so I can tell you that my favorite that is not anybody else's favorite, in a sense, is Citizen Kane. Oh, okay. But because right, it's right. so instructive. Right. You know, it, it com it's comprehensive of everything, plus the chutzpah of a young man yeah. doing movies. Yeah. But my, the, uh, let's talk about a romantic, my, my best favorite romantic film uh -huh. of all time. Casablanca. Oh God, yes. How about that? For great, classic. Great. That's a that's the epitome of classic, right there. <laughs> Isn't it? Yes. Now, in order for it to be classic, it has to endure. Yes. Now, this thing has endured for like sixty years or more. Oh, and it'll continue to. Yeah, I know. It's such a fabulous and, and great movie. I, I really, I have a um, a painting on my wall at home of a scene from Casablanca. Oh yeah! Straight there, ahead. There you Friend go. Of mine there you go. Etch that for me. That's awesome. <laughs> and I've got it at the gallery at Gateway Films. Oh, you know? Yeah. Good. All yeah. right. Yeah. So and it's. Uh, so and, it's and John, part of what we're talking about, I'm quite sure, is the writing is so good. Yeah. So spot on for everything that's happening in that film. And there's there's a lot that's hokey. The whole set is hokey. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you got the yeah. lights coming <laughs> through the shutters all the time and that <laughs> stuff, right? I know what it yeah. is. It's just it's the worst, but it's the best. Yes. And why is that? Because we're focused on character in that. Well that's what when I talk about and, and talk to uh, budding filmmakers and students, I'm like, the story is so important and the script is so important. And you, you know, you you can't watch, no matter how great the special effects are, if the script is horrible. Oh, I, I, it's a horrible right. movie, period. It's almost like counterproductive for this if the CGI is too good. Yeah. yeah. Because we, for me, I'm a language guy. Yeah. So, John, if I watch it streaming, close caption on do you really? Because I do not want to miss a word. So, not to, I don't want to get too far off track. You can edit this out. Okay. Me too. There was an article uh, I read recently about our movies becoming harder to hear. Yeah. And um, when I watch movies with my girlfriend, she's like, can we turn on the subtitles? Yes. And uh, yeah, uh, what did we just watch? We've watched a couple of things recently where she's like, can you turn on the Well, we have a lot of international stuff yeah. that goes on. That, that's, it's a natural. But if you get somebody on there with a Cockney accent, yeah. I'm missing it, yeah. and I'm going, I'm absolutely tearing my hair out. I said, I got missing. It. Yeah, you can't. Keep, I know. Keep I, I can't keep doing it when invariably, as you were pointing out, you probably can't yeah. understand it, yeah. and the filmmakers don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so that's that's. I mean, Casablanca, and because I think it says so much about love and about yeah. loyalty. Yeah. Um, and so much about that great war, that, that World War II. Uh, I, it's got, and espionage, it has everything in there. Yeah. And character, and character actors, John. Yeah. Oh, I just, so I'm thrilled by it every time I've seen it. I even showed it to my church group. Nice. And we talked about it. it. I love it. <laughs> so, well, so, so John, this is Cinema Classics. We're, we've been on for thir over 13 years. 700 shows. Yeah, right. And that means that I've had to sit with Johnny D. Loretto at least 650 of those times. Oh, so award. there's no award for that. But there a, should be a award for all the guests. So <laughs> there know, should be. They have to show yeah. up. But we've been buzzed with you. In fact, I'm now looking at the mechanism that allows us to have studio quality in my own <laughs> condo. And this is my task cam, and I'll remember you're coming in and talking about it. So yeah. what we're going to do for double take, John, Sure. Is we're going to talk about film Columbus because I, great, thank you. Uh, I, I, a great deal has happened since the last time we yeah. interviewed, and I'd love to hear about what's going on and let people know uh, that we are a pretty great place for having movies. Yeah. yeah. So,